Hello, uh, week one of playing the banjo. Um, so I did a, a video on the first sort of day after um, I'd had, well, a couple of days prior to see if it was where I wanted to go or not. Um, but it's actually been a week, um, so or eight, nine, nine days um, altogether um, of learning to play the banjo. Um, so a couple of things come up this week uh, which were really interesting uh, one of which was um, the I can't remember what it's called this bit here uh, it started to sag it started to dip on my on the head of my banjo here so I had to hunt YouTube um, which wasn't actually too difficult uh, and to find a video on, on how to tighten uh, the banjo head um, which meant taking off uh, the resonator bit at the back here, this bit here, and that just comes up with these uh, thumb screws just here. Um, so you just un undo those, take the resonator off, and then underneath is uh, these wonderful things here. Um, L pegs, I think they're called, and you just tighten them with, uh, actually, I used this tool here because I haven't got a banjo uh, head turner. Um, but it's just a, a six mil uh, bit on the top and then just a screwdriver piece and that just comes off and then you can use anything on there um, so I just use that for mine which seems to work perfectly well for me um, so that's my my tuning uh, peg thing <laughs> um, so I'll be using that from now on if I need to do that but yeah so I had to learn to, to tune the banjo head um, had done a little bit of research on that prior um, um was told to seek some advice um, from a professional. I live here in the UK. There's not many around, um, especially not where I live in the north of Wales. Um, so I am fairly self-sufficient. So I, I YouTubed videos. Uh, I used a couple. I, I did. I had a look at a couple. Uh, first one I looked at was the Deering Banjo Company. They've got some great tutorials. So I always recommend having a look at what they've got going on. Um, I don't have a, a drum uh, dial, um, which I will be looking to get in the future, um, just so I know that everything's perfect. But uh, it's just I've literally just done it by sound, so I just know it's got a, a nice, nice ping to it, um, which which means I. I as far as I can tell, uh, it sounds a lot better than it did before. That's 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 the main thing, um, and my band just sounds a lot brighter, which is perfect. Um, so yeah, so that's that's that one thing. Uh, the other thing that's been sort of getting to me is is the repetition. Um, I I tend to struggle with that, um, and I have done in the past. Uh, hence why I've had my banjo for well, since 2015, and I've only just now picked it up. Um, so it's nearly three years, two and a half years that I've had it. Um, and and yeah, I wish I'd stuck with it, but I wasn't in the right frame of mind at that time. So anyway, um, I haven't I haven't stopped it. Um, I just have managed to get myself through that bit, and every time I get to get bored of doing the repetition, I give up, I stop take a minute, take a break, go and do something else, maybe for an hour, maybe for a couple of hours, um, and maybe for the rest of the day, and then I come back to it and have another go, um, and then I stop, um, let it be for a little while, and then I think, well, do you know what, I'll have another go, so um, I have seem to have got the bug for it, which is great, great fun. Um, I've also started the week without a, a metronome, um, but it was last night, I, uh, so it'd be sort of around about the 3rd of August, um, I thought I'm going to have a go with metronome, so I did. Um, and that I can see that that's going to help with speed uh, and, and with timing. Um, I'm pretty good with sound, pretty good with, with, with the pitching and, and knowing what sounds right and what doesn't. And, you know, if I hit the wrong string, I know I've hit the wrong string because the pitch of it and the sound of it. Um, my thing is the timing. Um, I'm getting better. Working with the metronome is definitely helping. And starting with that early on, um, so I know that I'm in keeping in time. And I know if I can keep in time, then I can play, um, which is the whole point of this. So anyway, 
Um, I've been going on for about four, five minutes now. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update on where I was, what what was been going on. Um, yeah, uh, so now I'll give you an update on what I actually sound like and what I can do. So I'm just going to nip my screen down a little bit so you can see. So I'm just, I have been using my left hand just to do the, uh, I don't know if you can see this here, uh, the D7 chord. Uh, so first finger on first fret, second string, second finger on third fret, third string, um, which sounds like that. Um, and that's my banjo and open G, so I've got my left hand just down on my lap at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to bend this down a little bit more, you'll be able to see a little bit better. Um, and I'll just turn slightly, um, so you can see, I'm just, I'm just holding the banjo in the crook of my hand. Um, just so it feels a bit comfortable. I have got a strap, but I haven't used that tonight, so there you go. Um, so, uh, I'm doing the um, bum ditty at the moment, which I did start on, and then I started doing some other bits and pieces, and then I've come back to that, so this is where I am with that at the moment. what I'm practicing at the moment. Um, sometimes I throw a D7 in there just for a different sound um, and just playing with that chord and, and the C chord as well um, which I could play before from doing the bluegrass style um, and the D chord but I try not to get myself too complicated. I do have a habit of, uh, of trying to speed ahead a little bit um, which is <laughs> uh, which is an old habit of mine um, but every time I, I've feel myself trying to trying to get ahead. Um, I just stop, slow down, start again, get a cup of tea or something, um, and uh, and then come back to it and trying to keep myself from uh, from running before I can walk. Um, I have a habit of wanting to be a master banjo player because I've been playing it for a week. <laughs> Uh, this instrument is not like that. Um, it's going to take a while to master, um, and it's a learning curve, and that's something that I'm wanting to do, um, and something that I recommend. You know, for me, I've only been doing this a week, and I'm already recommending. But just from what I've learned in this first week, um, it's very fresh in my mind uh, right now to look back on, um, and to perhaps share with somebody else that's just starting as well. Um, you know, the, the main points here are take your time if you get to a point where you think you can't you, you know you, you get frustrated with it stop it and come and have a break and go and do something else and come back to it start again from that point you know use the metronome um i started at uh, 60 bpm um 70 bpm 80 bpm and just incrementing that up um and i try and do that every time um i find it more difficult to play at 60 bpm um and I'm, I'm better at 80 BPM, um, although I can get a little bit faster, um, but I'm trying to bring myself and rein that in. I don't want to be doing that just yet. Um, you know, when I feel comfortable, then I will, um, and I'll update that as, as I go. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I recommend if you can get it, I've got a metronome on a guitar tuner, um, which I bought because it does the five string banjo. Um, I think it cost me sort of three or four pounds um, and it comes with a metronome on it. Um, I've also got Drum Beats Plus um, which I used for when I was learning, well, picking up my ukulele I use it for that because it's got, a nice, got some nice drum beats to it and also for my guitar as well so I can, you know, have some drum beats in the background um, whilst I'm playing. Um, but yeah, I recommend it definitely um, and also just take your time enjoy the learning process that's, that's the main thing um, it's fun you know why not learn something and uh, if you haven't checked them out already um, have a check out Patrick Costello his videos are great um, and I'll also uh, tag in there the other uh, guys that I've used as well and, and I've looked at um, because why not you know it might they might work well for you um, and everybody's great and everybody's got something different to offer so um, 
so yeah, I'm uh, sorry, my screen went off then, and if I looked a bit fright like panicked, that's what it was. Didn't know what was happening. Um, yeah, so I'm off to do a little bit more practicing now. Um, I've got some live music going on in the back in in the town tonight. Um, it's great. They're doing like sixties, uh, so some Beatles going on and all sorts. Um, so I can hear that in the background, which has been lovely. Um, and yeah, it's, it's good fun. I'll try and record some of that and put it up as well, because <laughs> why not? Um, I'm not sure if I'll quite get it. I think they've just stopped. Um, it's about half ten now in the evening. So um, anyway, have fun. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll be back next week with, uh, with an update. <laughs> Bye now.